Let's ultrasound. On today's topic, how to distinguish between a large breast cyst and a breast implant on a mammogram and an ultrasound. It's really crucial to cover the difference between a large cyst in the breast and the appearance of a breast implant. This is a common thing for new breast sonographers to get stuck on. With a large breast cyst or a large fluid collection in the breast, like a seroma, the walls of that cyst are not gonna be bright and echogenic. It's gonna be missing the triple line sign or the double line sign of the echogenic implant shell walls. Where with an implant, you're gonna clearly see the bright echogenic double line sign or triple line sign with the anechoic lucency in between those lines. So this is the way to tell between a large fluid collection in the breast and a breast implant. Let's talk about how to tell the difference between a breast implant and a large breast cyst. As you can see from these images, a breast implant is a very obvious structure on the mammogram image. First, let's look at the middle image. This is a silicone implant, and so it's radio opaque, which is a water density, which is bright white on the mammogram. And it's a much higher density than the radio opaque, white structured large breast cyst that's seen in the opposite image. Breast implants are well-defined, obvious structures with clearly defined edges. Most commonly, they're going to be placed bilaterally, although this is not always true. In cases of breast reconstruction, you may only see an implant on one side. Compared to a silicone implant, the silicone implant is bright white, much brighter color than a cyst. When compared to a saline implant, the saline implant is more radiolucent than the silicone breast implant. It's translucent and you can see the valves and the folds through the implant. Compared to the large breast cyst, the saline implant has much more well-defined borders and is a more obvious structure in the breast. 